hey guys welcome back to my channel so i'm coming to you guys with a kind of thirsty thursday slash car confessionals um i am a little out of sorts today i first of all i don't have a drink i'm in the car without one but i am actually in my in-laws car because I don't know if I mentioned this in a video, but last month, January, I was rear-ended. And because of that, my car is actually being repaired right now. It really wasn't that bad. The, the accident could have been way worse. And thankfully, it was not. But at the same time, I'm really that type of person who doesn't like to rely on anybody. Where was I? Sorry, my husband called, so it like completely stopped the video. But so while he did hit me, the damage could have been a lot worse. Um, as you guys know, I don't drive my Escalade anymore. I traded that in, got me a little four door Mazda 3, which I love. But I was really worried when I got the when I got into the accident because the guy is driving an F-150. But thankfully, it didn't hit that well, and my husband's really good at choosing cars. It held up on the damage really good. But what had happened is, there's like a little hole where my exhaust pipe comes out, the tip of my exhaust, and the way he banged me, it scraped up and busted up my bumper, and then shifted the exhaust over, so completely out of its hole, like moved it over. Um, so anyway, that's getting repaired. I dropped it off on Monday, and I get to pick it up today, so I'm super excited. But I'm driving my in-laws car, which I'm fine with. I'm super thankful that they let me borrow it and stuff like that. Super thankful. But it's just, I am the type of person who really doesn't like to depend on anybody and just likes my own shit, do my own thing. So I was kind of like hesitant, but today's the last day and yeah so I'm sitting in the car waiting for the boys and I realized that it's Thursday Thursday and I didn't have a video planned this week and I really wanted to get one up first of all thank you thank you so much to everyone that's been using my email address that I listed on my last Thirsty Thursday video, which is thehoneygirlk at gmail.com for all of your questions um, or requests with regards to videos and stuff. Thank you. I did get a few requests and questions. Um, two of them had to do with relationships. One have to do with weight loss. Um, so I'm super excited about that. And then two had asked for more recipes one asked for another recipe um, a green juice recipe which I hope to be able to film that soon and um, the other one had asked for more recipes I know I haven't done foodie stuff in a really long time I have a scrape on my hand how did I get that but I plan to really get with those again and really just make my channel a lot more personable like it used to be but I wanted to stop in and say hi. Thank you guys so much. The responses I've got from last week's Thirsty Thursday and just the overall chit chat advice, my experience type videos really, really was awesome. Um, I expected that some people could relate, but I didn't expect so many people were able to relate. And I didn't expect that it would be so much of a welcome for those types of videos so I just wanted to tell you guys thank you for that um, today I'm gonna touch base with regards to weight loss now I am filming for my phone and I didn't write down the question but basically what she did was she asked if she could remain anonymous so I'm not gonna state her name that she has on the um, email but she says that she 
has gained some weight over the course of the last two years while she's been with her boyfriend and he's starting to notice that she's putting on the weight and at first it was kind of a teasing thing when he was talking about her putting on weight but now it's starting to get to the point where it's really making her feel uncomfortable and here's what I have to say about that sometimes guys really do not know that they're making you feel uncomfortable they have no idea that what they're saying is sarcastic to the point where it's not good it makes you feel uncomfortable it makes the relationship really tense um, I'm lucky because my husband doesn't ever say that he loves me for me sometimes men are just doing that to be sarcastic and cute and they don't realize that that really hurts our feelings um, and then sometimes we are just really sensitive women. I mean, women are sensitive, especially during that time of the month. So my suggestion to you would be to bring it up to your other half if you're comfortable enough. Let him know that some of the things he says, you you feel uncomfortable about it. It doesn't make you feel good inside. And it's really inappropriate for you. Um, in a nice way, you know, just bring it up and say, hey, you know what, I want to talk to you about something. Something's been kind of making me feel uncomfortable and I know I've been putting on some weight. You know, that way he'll kind of open up and tell you whether or not he's joking around. And if he's not joking and he's telling you that because he wants you to lose the weight, people have to love you for you. And if he's having a trouble, trouble with that, can you imagine what it would be like in a longer relationship for a longer time? Um, it's just gonna be even more uncomfortable. So you guys sit down, again, communication is key. Sit down, talk about it and see what's going on, if that's really how he feels um, and explain to him how he feels and kind of see where it goes from there. Um, a lot of times just talking because you guys are still new in a relationship. If you've only been dating for two years, that's still fairly new in a relationship. You guys are still learning about each other. And since you just moved in with each other, you may not have noticed that he was doing that quirky, 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 quirky? stuff before and now you're noticing it more because you guys are now living with each other so I would try that come back let me know what you think or what the issues are and um, I'll certainly touch base on this longer in another video so definitely come back and let me know um, what had happened I hope you guys are having an awesome thirsty Thursday don't forget the honey girl K at gmail.com Leave me your questions or anything like that you want me to touch base on. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Have a great guy, great day, guys. And um, happy Thirsty Thursday. Remember, drink responsibly and safely. And not if you're underage. I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.